Hi, my name is Curtis Rank. Uh, I manage the poultry barn for Spring Maple Farm and Randy and Christine Andrews. Um, so our ag career is a uh, poultry farmer. And uh, Curtis, how many chickens are in this lovely barn? Uh, this barn holds about 278,000 chickens. Wow, that's a lot of chickens. How many barns do you have? Uh, we just have the one for right now. Is that a future pad over there? Yes, it is. Uh, there's some plans to put up another one in the next couple of years, hopefully. And then how many chickens are in this chicken barn? 278,000. Okay. And uh, what's, what is the uh, average temperature, or does it fluctuate, or what happens? Uh, so the temperature fluctuates uh, when, they're, when they're chicks. When we just get them, the temperature is about 92 degrees inside. And then about every week, week and a half, it drops about 10 degrees. Okay. And then uh, what do you put in the feed bins? What do you feed them? Uh, so the feed is a mix of uh, corn and soybean, and it's ground up uh, really fine so that uh, they can eat it. They also get uh, vitamins and antibiotics through the feed as well. And who delivers it? Uh, Wanger Feed does okay. all the feed. And uh, what are the chickens used for? Meat, eggs, layers? So they are pullets, which means young, they're young laying hens. So we get them when they're babies and keep them for 18 weeks. And then they go to a layer house where they lay eggs. Okay. So then do you have eggs uh, coming out of them? Uh, we, we will have eggs in like the last uh, week, a week and a half. We'll start okay. getting eggs. Okay. And then, uh, how long are they actually in the barn? Uh, they're in for 18 weeks. Okay. Uh, yep. So, what is this room here? So this is our generator room. We have a generator back up uh, in case uh, the electric were to go out. Um, and it would kick on within 10 seconds after the electricity goes off. And does it run regularly for exercise or...? Yeah, every Monday morning it will run for a half an hour just at idle just to uh, you know, make sure the blood's still flowing inside. And then every two weeks, I have to do a, a full-scale uh, mock, I guess you could say, um, run if the electricity was to go off. Um, and then it would run the entire barn at full capacity. Ooh, that's simple. Cool. Um, so uh, what degrees and stuff would you say you should get, let's say, in college? Well, for, for this barn, it's very mechanic, very mechanical. There's a lot of moving parts. Um, I actually am going to Thaddeus Stevens currently uh, with a major in mechanical engineering, um, and it helps me uh, very much in the barn, understanding how things are working. Um, along with that, uh, you could do an ag business. Uh, that way you could uh, get management and understand uh, the, the different parts of how a farm works. Good stuff. Right. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so we're here inside the chicken house and Curtis is going to explain what all happens in here with when the chickens are here. Alright, so when we get the peeps, um, they only go in the middle two cages. If you see, we have a row of four, or four rows, excuse me. Um, so when the babies, they're only uh, in the middle two cages and they get 60 birds in each cage. Uh, we put papers in. Um, so that their feet don't get caught in the, uh, the grates of the, the cages. And then after, I believe it's about seven or eight weeks, um, what they'll do is they'll take 30 birds from this cage and move it up here, and 30 birds from this cage and move it down to the bottom. And that's how they, that's how they remain until they, they leave. How do you feed all these chickens? So we have a pretty cool uh, feeding system. Uh, this is called our feed cart. What happens is, um, Feed comes in the augers, uh, it fills in the top trough, uh, hopper, and then this there's a little trough here that it empties into, and it just funnels down and fills the entire feed cart up. And then what happens is there's a cable that actually walks this uh, feed cart the entire length of the barn, and uh, it pushes the feed gets pushed out down into the trough, and then there's also a shoe that pushes it towards the, kid, the chickens so they, they can eat a little bit easier. How do they get water when they're thirsty? Um, so they have, there's water lines through the barn, throughout the whole barn. Uh, 
and we actually are able to raise and lower them so when they're uh, when they're chicken uh, baby peeps uh, they're they're really low to the, the bottom of the cages and then as they grow we uh, continually raise them until they are how they are right now which is all the way up and uh, water is continuously flowing through them and there's little um, they push up on these little metal pieces and that allows the water to come out and what are all these switches do you have a bunch of so this is our control room uh, we have a bunch of different uh, switches this panel uh, controls the feed uh, carts that I talked about earlier uh, you can send each individual row uh, you can either send it or bring it back towards the front of the house. And also, if you have this flip to auto, it will send uh, send them all at one time. Um, these control the lights. That's pretty simple. They're just on, off, or on auto, which uh, goes into the computer system. Uh, the computer actually controls uh, when the lights go on. It, they also control the temperature and things like that. Um, this panel of switches is mainly for, for the fans um, and heaters. Uh, we have uh, tunnel fans on the side and on the end, and that's controlled mainly by this. And again, also they they have an on, an off, and an auto. This little, these boxes here control control inlets on the sides, um, so that when you have fans running, obviously you need a place for the air to come from, and so you open these, and that allows air into the box. With so many switches and everything, stuff can get wrong. Is there an alarm system or something? There, yeah, there is an alarm system. We use uh, the Agri Alert system. Uh, what that does is it has sensors throughout the barn um, for temperature, for water, for feed, for uh, power. If the power was to go off, it would send us an alarm. Um, and what that does is it calls um, a couple cell phones. We have a couple cell phones provided um, set into the system. And uh, if something goes wrong, it calls you, and you know you have to go check out something on the bottom.